Type 2 diabetes is a late onset condition that affects the way your body metabolizes sugars. It causes the body to resist insulin or produce insufficient amounts of insulin, the hormone responsible for maintaining blood glucose homeostasis levels. The pancreas secretes insulin into the bloodstream when blood glucose levels rise. Insulin travels to the body cells and triggers them to increase glucose uptake by attaching to cell surface receptors and activating glucose transporters which allows glucose to pass through the cell membrane. When the body does not produce insulin or if the cells are resistant to insulin, glucose cannot be converted to energy by cells and blood glucose levels take longer to return to homeostasis. Common symptoms include excessive thirst, frequent urination, excessive hunger, fatigue, blurry vision, and slow healing of cuts. Later symptoms include blindness and nerve damage. Metformin, a biguanide, is the most common medication to treat type 2 diabetes. It increases peripheral insulin sensitivity and decreases glucagon activity and intestinal absorption of glucose, which reduces the amount available to enter the bloodstream. Dipeptidyl peptidase 4 inhibitors are another treatment option. DPP-4 is a membrane-bound protein that is able to inactivate incretins, hormones that regulate insulin and glucagon, by clipping off two amino acids from their ends. When DPP-4 inhibitors are attached, they block the active site and stop DPP-4 from breaking down incretins such as glucagon-like peptide 1. In doing so, the naturally occurring GLP-1 hormone can circulate in the body for longer which stimulates insulin production and inhibits glucagon production. Glucagon and insulin are antagonistic hormones that work in opposing ways to regulate blood glucose levels. So by inhibiting glucagon, it prevents the liver from breaking down glycogen into glucose. Thanks for listening. We hope you enjoyed.